It's not often that a member of the president's cabinet is in town, so we brought a camera to the transportation secretary's tour of the I-5 bridge today. Pete Buttigieg missed a big anniversary by just one day. One of the spans of the bridge turns 107 years old tomorrow. Buttigieg agreed with state leaders that a new bridge is needed, and it's one of the many reasons that his department has approved $600 million so far to make it happen. The $600 million is a vote of confidence in the cooperation that is happening on both sides of the river. This is one of the handful uh, that I will be tracking and that are going to get nationwide attention because of just how big, how complex, and how important it is. The project right now is expected to be wrapped up around the time the bridge is 114, 115 years old. How imperative is it to work efficiently to get this new bridge going? You know, this is an ambitious project with an ambitious timeline, and it is going to take a lot of work to stay on that timeline. Part of what makes that possible is funding. Before his visit to the bridge today, David Molko sat down one on one for an exclusive interview with the Transportation Secretary at PDX. David joins us now. It was a pretty wide ranging interview, right? You David? know, I pushed him on the funding, didn't get anywhere with that. 20 minutes or so to talk about Boeing, the door plug blowout, making flying better for travelers. Wouldn't that be great? And once we got through most of the harder hitting questions, we'll call them that. I had just about a minute left. I was looking for some personal insight, a moment of reflection, and given the secretary's position, perhaps some perspective on where we are as a country in 2024. So here's what I decided to ask and how the secretary answered. If you could go back and give your 16 or 17 year old self some advice, what would it be? Huh. Uh, you know, my 16 year old self was hoping to be an airline pilot and uh, life worked in a, in a different way, but I guess I could tell my 16 year old self that I was gonna wind up working in transportation and aviation after all, just in a different way. Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, the other thing I guess I'd want a young self to know since at the time I was wrestling with uh, uh, my sexuality and whether that would prevent me from ever getting to uh, serve, whether as a military officer or anything like the job I have now, was that things change in this country. Yeah. What advice would you have for LGBTQ plus young people and teens who may see you as a role model? Well, most importantly, that you're not alone, that I'm rooting for you that whatever uh, nasty politics is taking right now, uh, taking place right now, trying to take advantage of uh, some of the most vulnerable people in the country, which is LGBTQ plus youth, uh, that you've got a lot of people in your corner, including the President of the United States, people like me, and a lot of people who want you to succeed. Uh, it hasn't been easy. And uh, the last couple of years have seen, unfortunately, some really cynical actions taken for political advantage at the expense of this community. But at the end of the day, uh, my, the existence of my family is living proof of how much can change in a short amount of time in this country. And we're going to keep pushing until everybody knows that they can have that sense of belonging and safety that they deserve. By the way, you can watch my full interview with Pete Buttigieg. It's up right now on our KGW YouTube channel. If you missed it, by the way, check out our digital producer, Anthony Masuk's sneak peek tour inside the soon to be open brand new main terminal at PDX. It is definitely a showstopper. Evan? Just brilliant. Thank you, hey. David.